Oh boy. Well, this was kindly sent to me by Matt. And Matt, holy God. So I have like a feeling of excitement and utter horror about looking at all of these peppers because like the little fruit hunter inside me is like, oh my God, so many varieties of peppers. I'm like so excited about that. But this is going to be challenging. <laughs> there are some really, really hot things in here. Um, yeah, I saw like a yeah, ghost pepper, blue ghost. I don't even know what that is. I know ghost peppers are really hot. Uh, Reaper crossed with mad balls. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, yes, but oh, God. Um, and incredible, like, selection of things. Besides, like, all the peppers and, like, a few fruits, he also sent me some barbecue sauce and some, looks like some jams, blackberry guava jam and rhubarb pawpaw jam and a copy of Fruit Hunters. Thank you so much, Matt, for sending me all this stuff. This is going to keep me busy for a while. Didn't even ask to be pitched for it, but kindly asked if I would want to use any of it, but he's a rather accomplished musician, so I believe his band is uh, Catch the Bear, which I'll put on the screen um, and also in the description, so check out his music. So unfortunately for this Pepper episode, I'm all alone. Michael isn't here. Michael is in Boston right now with his wife, not his Pepper weirdo friend. What can you do? Unfortunately, if I wait until uh, Michael is in my company, there's no way we're gonna get through all those peppers. So I need to start pecking away at them right now, and I'm gonna run solo on it. And I might end up having to do even more on my own, or maybe get some other people to help me do this, because uh, it's a lot of peppers. This is quite the undertaking. But the good thing about this is that I'm gonna be reviewing a lot of chili peppers. So a lot of people wanted chili peppers, and damn it, you're going to get a lot of chili peppers. This one here, is uh, the hot banana, and I wasn't able to find any information about this online. It might just be a banana pepper? Is that what this, if you know about this, then tell me. This little guy right here was in a little envelope that just said wild on it. So I'm guessing these are wild chilies. Looks like a tiny little cherry. Midnight BB7. Like if, if your chili pepper has a number in its title, that scares me, because then we're getting like clinical and stuff. So this one I feel is going to be like absolutely brutal. So I'm not going to start with this one. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna start with the wild one and then we'll work up to that one. My palate cleanser, my heat killer, my fire extinguisher, is that, that's what we called it, right? Is water. Oh, that's a mistake. So here is the wild pepper. It is just full of little seeds. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Pretty hot. It's got a pleasant sweetness to it. Reminds me a little bit of a ripe jalapeno, but the heat is stronger. On a level of 1 to 10, where a 0 is a bell pepper, a 2 is a jalapeno, and a 10 is, I don't know yet, because I haven't had it, but probably a Carolina Reaper. God help me. Uh, this is probably a 3. It's more than a jalapeno, but not much more. Flavor's really good, though. Per serving, one of those peppers in a bowl of soup, and, like, you've got some good flavor or in like chili or something. It's not super, super kill you hot, but it's like medium spicy. That's nice. I am gonna have some water. Not because I need it, I'm a man, but I need to cleanse my palate a little bit. Palate. <clears throat> I need to cleanse my palate a little bit. <sighs> okay, so next we're gonna go into the hot banana. I'm gonna try to be bold and just bite. 
bite this, but this could kill me. I have no idea how hot it is. Not very. Oh. No, there it's coming. That's hot. <coughs> it's very fruity. Very sweet. It's probably the sweetest pepper that I've had so far. It's like a little bit sweeter than a bell pepper, like a red bell pepper. And um, the heat is about the same as a jalapeno. But the kind of heat is different. It's like attacking my tongue. You know, sometimes the heat gets your lips. Sometimes it gets the back of your throat. This one is just like, eh, 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 like stinging my tongue but not in like a bad way. The flavor of it is pretty good. And it's making me salivate a lot. That's different. Um, so yeah, I'd say it's like somewhere like if you're to cross a, a bell pepper, like a red bell pepper with like a jalapeno. This would be a good pepper to use fresh. You don't need to cook it. You can take this and like cut it up and put it in like, um, like a salsa. That'd be killer. I would use this in place of a, a jalapeno or a bell pepper. Put on like a sandwich even, like a little bit. Like, that'd be super good. <sighs> I'm terrified of this next one. The water helps a little bit, but not really. That helps in, um, like, a cleansing kind of way, but it's not killing the spice. You know, like, milk will just, like, it stops the spice, just, like, goes away. That is, like, cooling, which is nice. It's kind of, like, distracting me a little bit, but it's not really killing it. So, when people say don't drink water, they're onto something. Should be wearing gloves. <laughs> oh, well. Ooh, that is bright red on the inside, but it's black on the outside. This is a very cool looking one. All right, I just got a little slice of it. I've got some seeds in it. Don't criticize me for not biting into the whole pepper. I'm trying to get a sample of what this tastes like, seeds and flesh, without just being a channel where I'm just like dying. You know, I want to actually get to the bottom of what this tastes like. And, uh, yeah, if you want to see people eating peppers and throwing up and crying, then there's plenty of videos out there that do that. But this is a pepper that I have no idea how hot it is. I don't know anything about it. I looked it up online. Can't find anything about it. Can't even find seeds about it. I have no clue. This could be, like, the hottest thing in the world. And, um... You don't want to bite into that. It's kind of sweet. No heat yet. But sometimes it sneaks up on you. It's a weird day. Oh, there's coming. It's a weird taste. It's like kind of mellow, kind of bitter, kind of herbal. It reminds me a little bit of like a, like a ancho chili, or I guess like a poblano pepper. What's interesting with the heat is like my tongue is not attacked, my lips, the rest of my mouth, not really, but it has just like latched on to the back of my throat. Like a little hangy ball. I forget the name of that. It's like just like bees stinging the back of my throat. But it's getting me more internally than anything else. It's getting, it's getting me deep. I'm feeling it in my throat. I'm not feeling it in my mouth. Bizarre. Oh, it just it feels like I just... Fun fact. I eat fire for a living. Number one rule of eating fire. Well, first rule of eating fire is don't eat fire. Second rule of eating fire is don't breathe in. 
I did that once, and like once you do it, you never do it again. This tastes like I just breathed in. That's probably the hottest one that I've had, but it's attacking me in a different way. Oh, I wish I had some milk. Um, the water is like helping a little bit, but very, very little. And the flavor on that is good. It's very interesting. I want to say it's like a poblano pepper, but honestly, I haven't eaten a whole ton of them. A little bit like an ancho pepper. It's got kind of like, a, I want to say like a dark flavor. It tastes a little bit like there's some smokiness to it, or like a little bit like a dark, like almost like a licorice uh, type of flavor in it. So I'm going to go <coughs> and uh, not be eating this anymore. I hope you enjoyed watching me torture myself eating peppers, and uh, I'll see you next time. Possibly alone, possibly with Michael. I don't know, but I will see you then. <clears throat> well, I really hope you enjoyed watching me suffer, guys. There is plenty more where that came from, so you may want to click the video that is below me right now to watch something else. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. That does actually help my channel out a lot. Also in the description below, there's all sorts of other information about my channel and you can learn more about being involved. So otherwise, I will see you next time.